Hi boys and girls, welcome to Bible Story Time for Western Fairfax Community Bible Study Class. This is for the kids, right? Alright, if you've got a Bible, go find it and maybe you could hold it. Or, you can put your hands together like this and we're going to say our Bible line. Ready? Open it up. Here is our Bible. Its stories are true. God gave us these stories for me. And for you, quiet, shh, so quiet, we all now will be, listen, a story with pictures to see. All right, boys and girls, before we get started, let's see if you remember some of the stories we've already been learning about Jesus from the Bible. I'm going to show you a picture, and you see if you can tell me what you remember. Okay, here we go. What's this a picture of? That's right. This is the empty tomb. Remember how we learned how Jesus was arrested and then he died on the cross and they put him in the tomb? But he did not stay there. We learned that he came alive. He has risen. Okay, I'm going to show you what happened next. We learned about some other things that happened next. Let's see, when Jesus came alive, do you remember who he saw, or who saw him? That's right, outside of the tomb he talked to Mary, and he showed her that he was really truly alive, and said, go tell the disciples. And so she did. And then we learned a story about how gee, these two men were walking along the road, and as they were walking, Jesus appeared to them. And they talked and talked about the Bible. And then they had dinner together. And they said, oh, we recognize it's Jesus. Jesus is alive. So we're going to be learning some more about what happened after Jesus came alive today. If you have your Bible storybook, you can open it up to this picture. Jesus goes to heaven. That's the name of our lesson today. You can get out your colors and you can color that in. Ah, we're going to find out what happened. All right. Well, have you ever seen something go up, 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 up into the sky? So high that you can't even see it anymore? Let's see. I'm going to show you something else. Maybe... We've done this. Have you ever blown a bubble? Whoops, that didn't work. Let's see if we can do it again. Hey. Yes, did you see that? Let's try another one. Oh, my goodness. I'm not getting very good bubbles. Now try one more. Oh, and sometimes the bubbles go up, 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 up into the sky until you can't see them anymore. Well, something like that is going to happen in our Bible story today. So, let's get busy and start telling the story that came from our Bible, okay? Remember, our stories come from the Bible that God tells us about. All right, well, Jesus stayed. And remember, he showed himself to his friends. And do you know how many days he did that? Forty days. Can you say forty? He stayed forty. 40 days and he walked all over and he spent a lot of time with his friends and talking to them. He went fishing with his disciples. He did all kinds of different things with them. He wanted to make sure that people knew that he was really truly alive and it wasn't make believe that he had come back to life. Well, remember, Jesus had a special job to do when he was on the earth and he finished that job, didn't he? He taught people about God, he died on the cross to pay for our sins, and he rose again to tell us all about eternal life. Well, now it was time for his disciples to hear that they had a very special job to do. So what was that special job that his helpers had to do? What was Jesus going to tell them? Well, Jesus told his special friends, 
some special helpers if they needed to do something. So let's see, can you see the picture? Let me see if I can move that so you can see it. There we go. So Jesus told his special friends that their special job was to tell as many people as they could all over the world all about Jesus. They said go he said go everywhere. Go to many different countries and many different people. Tell them everything you know about me. Tell them how I died on the cross for their sins so they can return to God. Tell them how I rose from the dead so they don't have to be afraid of dying. So he also told them something else. He said, it's time for me to go home now. And do you know where Jesus' real home was? It was in heaven. Jesus says, it's time for me to return to heaven. Because that's where my heavenly father, God, lives. But he made a promise. He made a couple promises before he left, when he was talking to them. He said, I'm going to send you a special helper to be with you. And he said, this helper is called the Holy Spirit. He says, you're not going to be able to see him, but he's going to remind you about all the things I told you. He's going to be able to help you. He's going to be able to comfort you. He's going to be able to show you my love. And he's going to be with you all the time. So he said, don't worry. You won't be alone. I'm going to send a special helper. And the thing was, this seems like sad news. But Jesus could only be one place at one time. But the Holy Spirit, God's special helper, can be with everybody, everywhere, all the time. And that's part of the wonderful thing that was going to happen. That Jesus allowed, now God can be with everybody everywhere, all the time, by his Holy Spirit. Jesus made another promise, too. He said, I will be with you always. Do you remember that? That's our first Bible verse. I am with you always. And so Jesus said, don't worry. I will be with you always. His body would be up in heaven, but his spirit will be with us always. Well, he also said, I have one more promise to tell you. I'm going to come back one day. I have to leave now and go home to heaven, but I will come back one day. And so the disciples, the special helpers, listened to that. And then all of a sudden, something very special happened. Jesus started to go up in the sky. And they watched, and he went up in the clouds. There were clouds up there. Let's see if I can get the clouds up there. And Jesus went higher, and went higher, and he went higher. And then he went up so high, they looked and looked as hard as they could. Couldn't see him anymore. He disappeared into the clouds. He had gone up and up. And do you remember where he went? He went to heaven. That's right. And that's where Jesus is today. Jesus is in heaven today with God. And he wants us to be able to join him there and be part of his forever family. And we've been learning all about that at CBS all year, haven't we? So let's end with a special rhyme. You ready? It goes like this. When Jesus' time on earth was done, he told his good friends what to do. Travel here, travel there, and tell about me everywhere. Then Jesus rose up in the sky. His friends all watched him rise up high. Just when a cloud hid him from sight, they saw two angels shining bright. And you know what those angels said? Don't worry, one day Jesus will come back. Just like he left, he will return to earth. We're still waiting for that to happen. 
Let's try to do that rhyme again, and you can do it with me, okay? Here we go. When Jesus' time on earth was done, he told his good friends what to do. Travel here, travel there, and tell about me everywhere. Then Jesus rose up in the sky. His friends all watched him rise up high. Just when a cloud hid him from sight, they saw two angels shining. Whoops, that's Jesus. That's the wrong one. They saw two angels Whoops. shining bright. Sorry, boys and girls. I made a mistake. <laughs> right, let's say that last part again. Just when a cloud hid him from sight, they saw two angels shining bright. All right. Let's remember that Jesus wants us to believe in him and be part of his forever family. And then we can tell people everywhere what we know about Jesus and share our Bible verses and our Bible stories. And they can be a part of God's forever family too. So let's say a prayer, okay? Here we go. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he came to earth. Thank you that he told us about you. Thank you that he finished his big job to be our savior and to rise from the dead. And thank you that you are always with us and you love us. Help everybody to understand you and to believe you and to be part of your family. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you at music time. Bye-bye.